Okay. I don't know how long it's been, 10 or 15 minutes. A um, couple things that uh, I forgot to do and forgot to mention. Um, it's always good to <laughs> make sure you've got your work piece covered with uh, newspaper uh, because this will get messy once you start uh, cleaning it up and, and channeling and other things. Um, and I prefer just to be able to wrap it all up in newspaper and throw it away. Um, and if you're as lucky as I am, then your newspaper too will have a picture of a guy in a speedo cliff diving in the Ukraine. Um, what else? Oh, I forgot to mention another reason why um, people argue against using your tile tool for a pitch lap is uh, I, I think it uh, would increase chances for scratches too. Um, the reasoning being that you used that tool for grinding and had silicon carbide on it and and you never know if there may be a, a little piece of grit stuck in there that works its way to the surface or I don't know. Um, at any rate I'm not too worried about scratches but I don't plan on recycling this pitch. Um, that's why I used that older pitch that I got whereas I usually reuse my pitch. Um, as I'm channeling it I collect it and keep it in a number 10 can and melt it down for the next time. This stuff I plan to uh, just throw out as I as I channel it and, and everything else. Um, but you can see we're we're really getting close. That's really getting thick and as I work it toward the middle look at how tall that is. It's starting to keep its uh, shape a little more although if we watch that for a second it will uh, flow down so we're just about to where um, we're ready to, to pull a, the dam off but not quite don't do it too soon it will stay viscous it will stay workable for a little bit longer than you think um, you don't want to go too long but I think you'd rather go too long than too short so we'll come back in a minute. 